What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining me today on another episode on this channel. In today's episode, let's talk about Rose Tico in episode nine. Now, there's a big deal going on out there about Rose Tico's merchandise is just disappearing. She's not in the merchandise for episode nine. And to tell you the truth, honestly, I'm not surprised. I don't think anybody, anyone should be surprised about this. Why should Rose Tico have a bunch of merchandise for episode nine? She's not going to be a central character in this movie. She's just not. And no matter what J.J. Abrams says about, you know, him not retconning The Last Jedi, and he thanked Ryan Johnson for giving him Kelly Marie Tran, and Kelly Marie Tran could be an absolutely wonderful young lady. She probably really could be. I don't know her personally, but she comes off as a really, really nice person. But Rose Tico in The Last Jedi was a weak point of that movie. The character was just useless. The character should have never been created. But J.J. Abrams has to bring her over for this movie. And in my opinion, she's only going to get about five minutes of screen time, I think. She was never going to have a significant role in this movie, no matter what. It just wasn't going to happen. because. There are so many moving parts that's going to happen in this movie. Rose Tico is not a focus of any of that. This sequel trilogy, Rose Tico really has no place in it, to tell you the truth. Ron Johnson just kind of forced her in there just for identity politics purposes. But J.J. Abrams is taking over this movie. And the central part of this movie has to be You know, finishing off Ray's arc, which I don't even care about, but she is the main star of the movie. So it has to focus on her. It has to focus on Kylo Ren. It has to focus on Palpatine because Palpatine is in this movie. He's a huge part of this movie. There's no doubt about it whatsoever. Then you have to address Luke. And they're trying to combine all nine movies into one. And if that's the case, the central figure of the Star Wars saga franchise is Anakin. I truly believe that Hayden Christensen will be in this movie as Anakin. And to be honest with you, he has to play a significant role. No doubt about it. And we all know that the the trio, the new trio, Ray, Finn, Poe, they're going to all be out on a mission together. So where's there really time for Rose Tico? There's just no time for her. Also, they're going to be trying to wrap up Carrie Fisher's Princess Leia arc in this movie. That's going to be no time really for Rose Tico. Rose Tico is not a central figure to the plot. She had a moment in The Last Jedi. Canto Bite. That was all about her. Nobody cares about her in this movie. I hate to say it, but it's just true. And this is nothing against Kelly Marie Tran. Nothing against her whatsoever. What kind of big role is she going to play in this movie? Nothing, really. And if they focus on her, it's going to take away from all of the other major plot points that they need to talk about in order to complete a nine movie arc. So there's just no time for her. So I don't think it's really a surprise if they're not really marketing her for any kind of merchandise. But one thing The Star Wars sequel trilogy merchandise, nobody was buying it anyway. So I'm pretty sure that Disney and Lucasfilm, they look at that and they say, all right, what's selling, what's not selling? Oh, nobody was buying Rose Tico stuff? Probably because uh, EVS, Ethan Van Sciver from uh, Comic Artist Pro Seekers probably bought them all. (laughs) But seriously, nobody was buying Rose Tico stuff. Nobody was. And I think they know that. And they can't put all that focus on her when they have to really kind of complete this story. And there's going to be other merchandise. I think that's going to come out after the movie is released. Some stuff, you know, it's going to be secretive, you know, like we haven't really seen Palpatine yet. The trailer is going to come out. I'm willing to bet we'll probably see Palpatine. Will we actually see Rose Tico in this trailer? I doubt it. And if so, We're probably just going to see her for a glimpse of a second. 
Now, the only thing we've seen from Rose Tico so far, she hasn't been in any of the, the teaser trailers, any of the uh, D23 stuff. We saw one photo of her at Star Wars Celebration. That was it. And that may be the only scene that she's in, to tell you the truth. But I think they really need to focus on the actual story of the movie and not Rose Tico. I think that C-3PO is going to have a bigger role in this movie than Rose Tico because we already kind of know what's going on with him and the red eyes. He's going to play a big role in this movie. He's going to have the bowcaster. He's going to be in battle. And this is the first time we've seen R2-D2 and C-3PO actually do something in the sequel trilogy besides just standing around and do nothing. So this is the last movie that we get to see our two favorite droids. That's another thing. That's just no time for Rose Tico, guys. So guys, what do you think of this? Do you want more Rose Tico stuff? Do you want to buy the Rose Tico merch? Do you want to see Rose Tico have a significant role in episode nine? I just don't see it happening, but maybe you do. So guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me, and we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix, out.